in a rare moment of Kanda Krinyaga County Governor and Mumbi Waiguru was one of the key proponents of the Building Bridges Initiative in the mountain, has today pulled a retreat with a strong warning that the Constitutional Reform Initiative, inspired by President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga, was unpopular in central Kenya, and that the ruling party fortunes in the region have dramatically plummeted to a near low. The people of Mount Kenya who are gaining... Speaking on a local television station Wednesday morning, Weguru says it would be difficult for her to defend her seat through the ruling party, insisting that Jubilee has a lot of work to do in terms of revamping the party. And if today, elections were held today, and I, I ran on a Jubilee party and somebody else ran on another party, I would have it have a hard time and convincing people that they need to elect me, even if they think that I have performed. According to the first-time governor, the Mount Kenya region is dissatisfied with how the party has been run over the last five years. That's a fact. Unless something seriously changes, and I have said that many times, that Jubilee needs to seriously look internally and see how to revamp the party for it to be acceptable to, again, for where I come from, the people of Mount Kenya. When you talk to people here, they don't feel that they're very satisfied with how Jubilee has been run for the last five years. For whatever reason, we don't have presence in the ground. And um, there is no that uh, emotional connection that you need with a political party. But whether she's shopping for a new outfit come 2022, the governor says her options were open, but did not disclose whether she would consider joining DP William Ruto's allied UDA party. I am listening to the people on the ground. I am listening very keenly and I will go with the people's decision. So if the people tell me go this way, because they are the ones who ultimately will elect me, I will have to respect the will of the people. While wading into the BBI, Waiguru says the Mount Kenya region was never fully behind the push for the constitutional amendments through the BBI bill. Looking at um, the reactions, you see, you when you listen to the people after the verdict and uh, the polls that have been done nationally and uh, those that have been done regionally, we seem to have left people behind. You'd have expected the people of Mount Kenya who are gaining, especially with regard to resources, to be at the forefront of demanding that this BBI must pass. And that wasn't happening. And, and I would be... Um, completely dishonest if I say that uh, the people of Mount Kenya were behind it. They were not. Waiguru, who was one of the proponents of the BBI in Mount Kenya region, now says that while the contents of the BBI were a bag of goodies for the electorate, the bill was not supported by the majority. A short uh, synopsis of what I have. Late last month, a seven-judge bench of the Court of Appeal brought an end to the much-hyped BBI reggae after upholding a high court ruling that declared the BBI as unconstitutional, even though the Attorney General has since taken the battle to the Supreme Court. Angela Cherur, K24 TV, Nairobi.